This is my review of the Led Zeppelin album Presence. It was released in 1976 and produced by Jimmy Page. Um, I'm a little bit sick tonight, so if my voice sounds kind of weird, that's why. Um, and also the cat might play with the tripod a little bit because she's over there. Uh, so yeah, this album, I don't remember specifically when I got this album, like which year. Um, I do remember it was one of the last Zeppelin album, studio albums that I got, and that wasn't really for like lack of wanting it, it was more because uh, I just had a hard time finding it anywhere uh, at the time. This, uh, I think a lot of people will think that this is, or consider this uh, Zeppelin's weakest album or one of their weakest albums. Uh, I've never really shared that opinion. Uh, I know, I mean, even people, random people I've talked to, there was, uh, was this one time I was working like a food truck event for my boss and I was wearing a Zeppelin shirt and somebody comes up to me and starts asking me about all the albums and stuff. And uh, that person was like, oh yeah, I like Coda better than Presence. And I was kind of like, whoa, wow, really? Um, but anyway, just an album that uh, I've always felt was really underrated and I've always really enjoyed. Uh, the first song, Achilles Last Stand, is probably it's, if it's not my favorite Zeppelin song, then it's really close to being my favorite Zeppelin song. Um, like I said, I got kind of into it by the live version on the DVD that they put out. Um, and I was kind of like drawn into it by the, the intro. And it took me a while to, to kind of get into the song because how long it wasn't at the time. That was a really long, like 10 minutes was a really long song for me to listen to back then. Um, but now, like honestly, it doesn't even seem that long listening to it. It just goes by so fast. Um, it's just a, a great song. I think that uh, you know, this album was recorded during like was a pretty rough period for the band. Uh, Plant had been badly injured in a car accident. Um, pretty sure he recorded like the whole album in a wheelchair, uh, and so he was not in like in a very good place then. And there's other stuff going on, uh, and the album. Uh, the album is kind of a really electric, more heavy album than what they've done. Like, well, it's not more heavy than what they've done, but more like just straight electric um, rock stuff. Uh, it doesn't have any of the acoustic balance or things like that that have been on previous albums. But, um, kind of ranting a little bit here, because uh, I probably should have said all this before the song, but I kind of forgot. Uh, but anyway, the album, I just think that the band plays great on it and they really kind of excel at, at this like just hard rocking stuff that they're doing here um, and so I love everything about all the playing on the album and everything like that. Uh, I like Plant's performance really well on this album too even though he was having kind of a rough time. Uh, I do think that his vocals are a little harder to hear on this album uh, like I've been saying in the reviews before this I kind of feel like around Houses of the Holy his uh, voice just start stops becoming so up front in the mix because uh, really in that first album he's really up front I'd say even on the second third and fourth he's pretty up there uh, but it just seems to me like around Houses of the Holy they start kind of dialing back how much of his voice you hear in the mix um, yeah Achilles Last Stand uh, just a great song of uh, pretty much everything about it one of my favorite page guitar solos uh, great opening track the second song for your life Another favorite of mine, just I think it's got some really cool guitar in it and just the whole band. Um, I, I don't know, I just love the the way they kind of interact with each other in the playing. Like, uh, that's just really cool. And I like Plant's uh, performance out here a lot too. Uh, the third track, Roy Orleans. <clears throat> this is probably my least favorite track on the album if I had to pick one. I mean, I do like the main riff in it. I like the band's playing and stuff. I think it's a little hard to hear what Plant's uh, saying here on some of the stuff. Like it's just it's hard to make out the lyrics. Um, and it's the shortest song on the album, and I think it's the, also the only one that is credited to all the members. Uh, but just kind of, I think the weakest moment on the album. But not a bad song really. Um, next, nobody's fault but mine. Kind of an old blues cover uh, that they just go crazy with it. It's, uh, it's a great song. It's um, I think probably one of my favorite, or my favorite plant um, vocal on the whole album. So the fifth track, Candy Store Rock. This one, uh, from what I've heard, I think this song kind of annoys a lot of people. Uh, and I've always liked it. I think it's it's got the, the plant vocal part is a little simple and a little repetitive. 
but I just love the way the band plays on it. Um, and I think it's got a really cool uh, guitar solo from Jimmy. So another strong track. Uh, six song hot song for Nowhere. Then uh, this kind of like, my one kind of gripe with this album really is some of the song titles. And it really starts more around like, like these last three songs. Um, none of the titles of them really have a lot to do with, at least from what I can tell from like the lyrical content, uh, at least as far as like what Plant's actually saying. Um, and they just like, they don't have anything in the song to remind you of what the name of the song is. So like even as much as I listen to this album, sometimes I look at the name of the song and I'm like, wait, how does that go again? And it's not because I don't like the song, because like if I listen to the album in order, so I'm like, okay, I know what's coming next. But just the name of it has really nothing to do with anything in the song, so it's just kind of hard to connect it to the sound. Um, which, uh, like, they have some other songs, like Black Dog and stuff earlier on, and I think the only reason I know what Black Dog's called is because it's kind of drilled into my head. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, Hot Song for Nowhere, not, not the greatest title that they could have picked because it's a little confuses me, but... Uh, I really like the song, uh, another one where <clears throat> I just think that they all they all sound really great on it and uh, Jimmy has this really cool weird kind of guitar solo. Seventh and final track, T for One, uh, is kind of one of their long slow like blues things a little bit like Since I've Been Loving You, um, that kind of similar vibe. It's got kind of a cool intro that starts out and then the song kind of goes a completely different way after a while. Um, but it's, it's long, I could see not everybody being into it, but I think it's a really strong closer. And it's got some great playing by the rest of the band, especially Jimmy. Uh, so yeah, Presence. I, I can kind of get why this album's less popular. Um, and then you know, it has all the stuff going on you know, around the band at the time it was happening. Uh, maybe that kind of contributes to its reputation a little bit, but I don't know, I think it's just... Um, it's definitely not the most like diverse Zeppelin album. Uh, it's probably uh, I don't know if I'd say like the heaviest, but it's probably like the most rocking all the way through because it doesn't have any of the acoustic stuff or any of the um, ballads or anything. But I, I think it's uh, just a really strong, uh, really strong rock album from the band. I think they all play great on. I think Jimmy um, this. Is, maybe like his best album in some ways. Um, he just really, I think, is awesome on this album. But uh, yeah, Presence to me is a, a really underrated uh, Zeppelin album.